My legs. Get me out of this truck. My legs. Oh my god. I've traveled 30 plus thousand miles in this truck. There's a problem for me. It's this seat. There's no support to my legs. I got pretty scrawny legs, but I do my deadlifts. Doesn't matter though, because my seating position is horrible. So in today's episode of SoCal Expeditions, we changed the seating position of the truck. So here's my main problem, is that there is absolutely no hamstring support. There's nothing to hold up my legs while I'm driving. So on road trips, I just have extreme and chronic pain. So we're gonna end that today because I'm taking a huge road trip this summer and I can't have this pain with me. So today's video, we're gonna install a set of seat jackers. These are available from Desert Desert. The link is gonna be in the description of the video. These go underneath the front of the seat, lift it up, and hopefully provide some more hamstring support. You guys are gonna see this video in two weeks. I'm gonna install these, I'm gonna drive around with them, and I'm gonna tell you guys how they are. So here's a quick look at the spacer itself. This is what goes underneath the front of the seat. This is just gonna sit here, this will bolt in like normal, then the seat is gonna sit on top of it and then bolt into this. Super easy install, it only takes a couple minutes. Let's just ignore how dirty inside of here is. I apologize in advance, but we can take these rear seat covers off. These just honestly rip off, wow. It is dirty in here. Good thing for me to vacuum. Then we can grab a 14 millimeter and take off all the bolts, all four of them. I'm gonna loosen the back and remove the front. Jesus. Okay, that's like 50 something foot pounds then. That's a little tight. I think these are supposed to be to 27, just an FYI. So I got the back two loose. Perfect, and then I can slide the whole seat back and then we can uh, remove the front bolt. Come on. Who the heck? 27 foot pounds my butt. There is no way Toyota did this to 27 foot pounds. Oh actually I think I took out the seats because I flooded the inside of the truck once. So uh, thanks Bajan for hitting everything with the driver. All right, so I got the front bolts removed. The rear ones are loose. I can go ahead and tilt the seat up. And I uh, already did this just to show you guys, this little white piece fell off. If you're wondering where this goes, it's actually on the bottom of the seat. So right here, where we got this little piece, slide that back up. So if yours gets caught and stuck in the hole, just remember that's where it goes. Slide that all the way up. All right, so now we take the lift blocks, put them underneath, slide one in there, grab the other one, set that one there, and we just reuse the uh, bolts that we took out <laughs> to attach these. All right, so now I have the lift blocks secured to the floor, and in the directions, it tells you not to torque these yet. However, that makes no sense because if I take the seat and set it down, there's no way I'm gonna fit a socket in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and torque these to 27 foot pounds. This is a 15 millimeter for the new bolts, right? And then the old ones, the OEM ones are 14 millimeters. So you're gonna need a 15 and a 14. All right, I got my torque wrench here set to 27 foot pounds, or it says 30. I don't know, it's close enough though. Okay, so that's torqued to 27 some foot pounds. Go ahead and slide uh, this piece on. Grab the 15 and the torque wrench again and do it to 27 foot pounds. That's so loose. Go ahead and pop these covers back on. One. There's two. I think it's time for the moment of truth. Okay. Wow, it's tilted back for sure. 
Okay. I can't really tell the difference. A little bit, like 50% better. I can feel a little support here, but honestly, I don't know. But this is a two part video. I'm filming the next part next week. So this video is coming out in two weeks. I'm gonna drive it around for a week. Then I'm gonna give my full recommendation if it's worth it or not. However, sitting in it right now, I don't know yet. So I'll see you guys in two weeks. Hopefully I do something cool with my mustache. But uh, that's how to install them. So I wanted to update you guys. I've been driving the truck with the front seat jackers in for over a week now and I did not find them comfortable at all. I found it that my legs had some relief but my back started hurting because of sitting in this cocked back position. Now, someone today sent me a set of rear spacers. These are meant for a uh, shock, but I decided to take two of them and shove them underneath the rear of the seat on each bolt side. And the truck seats became so comfortable after just putting two of these little machine spacers in. So I have to say, the front seat jackers paired with rear seat jackers, this is about half inch in total, is comfortable. But with just the front seat jackers in, I didn't find it comfortable at all. And I honestly wouldn't recommend it for other people. If you're going off the body specs that I have, I'm 5'10 with longer legs and my upper body. I just didn't find it comfortable. But with these rear spacers in, dang, does it feel good. Let me show you guys what it looks like. You're going to have to excuse me for not cleaning the truck yet. Um, I'm just keep going on trips and keep getting it dirty. But this is what it looks like with the rear spacer in. It is barely above. You can see two of them stacked underneath. And it looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and torque these 27 foot pounds, but I've been sitting in the seat for quite some time now and it's really comfortable. Wow, I need to clean the back of here. Just so absolutely. What good. are my final thoughts? I'm gonna say if you do the front and the rear, it's worth it. That is expensive though. A lot of places charge maybe up to 150 bucks for the front and the rear spacer. Is it really worth the money? I don't know. The rear spacers I spent 12 bucks on, so I'm gonna say it was worth 12 bucks to make the seat that much more comfortable. Front seat jacker is a little pricey, but they're a really well-made unit. In the end, I'm going to say if you can source it for a little cheaper than 150 bucks, you should do it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.